Hi guys, this is Sadek from Rodman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest CW RP recovery onto the Galaxy A52s 5G. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First of all, you'll have to unlock the Bluetooth on your phone. Do note that unlocking will wipe off all the data and it might also trip the NOX. Well, not might, it will trip the NOX and NOX is a hardware component which is there in the motherboard. So once it gets stripped, there's no going back. So even if you relock the boot order, the NOX will stay trip. as a result of which you will not be able to use any Samsung Pay or Samsung Secure folder. All such apps will not work whatsoever. So keep this point in mind if that's all well and good. Apart from that, the warranty might be get void as well and the data wipe will also happen. So if that's all well and good, you could refer to a guide or the video and get this job done. In short, you have to simply boot your phone to the first and foremost enable developer options and from there you have to then enable the OEM unlocking on your phone and after that you have to boot your phone to the download mode once it's in the download mode you will then have to long press the volume up key this will take you to the unlock mode from the unlock mode just press the volume key once and your phone will then undergo a wipe and the boot order will be unlocked once that is done connect your phone to the Wi-Fi and then go to the developer options and verify that the OEM unlocking is enabled and gray out if that's well and good, then you have bypassed the wall keeper and the boot order has been unlocked. Let me verify the same from my end as well. So go to the settings menu, about phone, software information, tap on build number seven times. Now again, go back to the developer options. And as you could see, the OEM unlocking is enabled and gray out. Likewise, you also have to enable USB debugging. Tap on OK if you get a prompt. And the debugging is enabled as well. So anyways, moving on, once you have unlocked the boot order, you will now have to Get hold of the recovery file and the vbmeta patch file. The vbmeta patch is required to disable the Android verified boot. So regarding the recovery, you could download from this link and the vbmeta patch can be downloaded from the GitHub page. This is the patch file. Download both the files. The recovery file should also be a tar file. So keep this point in mind. Don't download the img file. Instead, download the tar file as you could see over here. Go to the server link and then download the latest tar file once you have got both the files. This will be something along the following lines. Let me show you. This is the vbmeta tar and this is the recovery file. Let's now move ahead with the next step. So now you have to download the Odin tool which will be required to flash the recovery file onto our phone. So get the tools from here and extract them onto your PC. Upon extraction, you will get the following four files. Once that is done, you will now have to boot your phone to the download mode. For that, you could either use the hardware key combination using this guide or simply use the adb command. For now, I'll be using the ADB command to get this job done. For that, get hold of the latest Android SDK platform tools from here and extract them onto your PC. You can do so anywhere you want. In my case, I have done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. Once you have done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging as well, which we have shown already. Just go to software information and tap on build number seven times. And then go to developer options and enable USB debugging. Once that is enabled, you will first have to open the CMD window inside the platform tools directory. Just type in CMD in the address bar, hit enter. Now type in ADB devices and verify that you are getting an ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Then after that, you can also tap on revoke USB debugging, which is this option. So carry out these tweaks and make sure that you are now getting an ID. Let me verify it once again. As you could see, I am now getting an ID, so I could now move ahead with the next step. The next step involves booting our phone to the download mode. So type in ADB reboot download and your phone should now reboot into download mode. This will take just a few seconds. So let's wait for that to happen. And once that is done, you will now have to flash the recovery file onto your phone via the Odin tool. So first and foremost, you will have to launch the Odin tool. So let me close this existing tool. Just give me a second. Now go to the folder where you have the Odin tool and launch the exe file. You will get a prompt. Click on OK. And first of all, verify that your phone is being shown here under the log section and the com port is shown here as well. Then go to the option tab and uncheck auto reboot. This is very important. After that, you will have to click on the AP and load the recovery tar file, which is this one. Then you have to click on the user data and load the vbmeta patch file, which is this one. And once you have loaded the recovery file in the AP and the vbmeta patch in the data slot, just click on the start button. The file will now be flashed onto your phone, which will take only a few seconds. Once the flashing is complete, you will now have to press and hold the power and the volume down keys for around seven to eight seconds. And as soon as the phone is about to undergo a restart, you will then have to press and hold the power and the volume up key. So let me show you what I mean. First of all, press and hold the power and the volume down keys. 
and you will have to keep on holding both this key until your phone undergoes a restart and as soon as it is about to undergo a restart release both the keys let me and now press and hold the power and the volume up key and keep on holding both the keys for around 5 to 6 seconds until the phone boot to the os once again not the os until you get the warning message so keep on holding both the keys and then you may let go of the keys now and your phone should now reboot into the wrp recovery if the if the if that does not happen then it means that the volume keys were not pressed at the right time so you will again have to carry out this process of flashing the recovery file in that case you will again have to flash the ap and the data slot so let's verify if the flashing is done in our case or not if that is done then our phone should not boot as you could see it's now booting to the recovery and the task is half complete your final course of action now is to do a format data which will wipe off all the data from your phone so go to wipe format data type in yes and hit the enter key and the formatting is now complete this will remount the data partition and will remove the encryption as well so you could now easily transfer the file onto your phone and flash it as well let me show you just a step that the recovery is able to read the files so let's say let's transfer a zip file onto my phone and then i'll show you that the encryption has been removed and you could now easily flash the file of your choice so every time whenever there is an encry encryption you will have to do a format data to remove the encryption as well do keep this point in mind and our phone is now in the recovery mode so it should be shown in the pc as well so if your phone is not shown here then it's not a cause of concern you could simply use the adb push command to do a file transfer as well so simply paste the file inside the platform tools directory now type in adb push file name which in our case is magis.zip space forward slash and type in the location of your phone which is the sd card and the file is now been transferred onto our phone you could simply flash the file from here and get the job done as well so guys this was all from this video on how you could flash the twrp recovery onto your phone just to recall you have to unlock the bootloader by from the download mode and after that you will have to flash the twrp and vp meta patch the recovery file is to be flashed in the ap slot whereas the vp meta is to be flashed in the data slot after that you will then have to do a format data as well and your task stands complete if your phone is not shown in the pc you could also use the adb push command for tra file transfer and also make sure to do a format data to remove encryption as well so on that note i round off this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching